Have prison guards taken the feeling cute challenge? Too far. What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and in this video we are going to be talking about the Feeling Cute Challenge. Now if any of you out there aren't familiar with what this Feeling Cute Challenge is, it's basically posting a selfie of yourself with the craziest possible caption that you can think of with the hashtag Feeling Cute. And it's this challenge that has become something of a plague or epidemic causing all sorts of backlash and reaction to what people are actually captioning their pictures with. And to be honest with you, some of them are pretty damn funny. Like this one that was posted in the After Prison Show fan page by an awesome supporter of APS, Beer Grunt. Check out this picture of Jussie Smollett right here with the caption saying, felt cute, might beat my own ass later. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Now I liken this challenge to the Ebola crisis. And you know, I watched the documentary about that big Ebola is it Ebola or Ebola? Whatever it was, I watched the documentary about that outbreak and how they were actually able to track down patient zero. I think the guy ate a bat or something like that. Maybe he ate like some tainted bat meat. Boy, you ate the taint of a bat? Mm. And the reason I'm using this as an analogy is because we've been actually able to track down patient zero of the feeling cute hashtag challenge. This whole thing actually started in Columbus, Georgia, where there was a city employee who worked for the Waterworks. Waterworks is a real thing, right? It's not just a monopoly. That was cringe. But you had this city employee who worked in the water department down there in Columbus, Georgia, who first posted a picture, a selfie of himself, with a caption saying, hashtag feeling cute might cut your water off later. I don't know. You know, trying to make a joke out of messing with people's utilities? That's not very funny at all. And that's downright mean and wrong. I should know. I waited a week and a half just to get the gas cut on at this place. I was only able to take like one shower in 10 days. And it was cold. And you guys couldn't even imagine how bad I was stinking during that time. But it was when this city employee posted this selfie with that caption that this thing went absolutely ham turkey bone viral. This thing blew up all over social media. People were outraged by this. How could this city employee make a joke in such poor taste? Messing with people's utilities? That's downright wrong. And though I'm quite sure that's how this whole challenge began, I've got no idea how this thing transformed over to prison guards. But it did. And folks, what I'm getting ready to share with you is prison guards going too damn far. Making jokes about things that you shouldn't even be joking about, making you think or making me think. Are they really joking? Is this a joke? Or is this for real? Is this all for the possibility of some likes and some comments, possibly some backlash and some outrage? Is this all for that chance of a lifetime to for once in your life go viral? I mean, you know, it really makes me wonder, like, what do they hope to accomplish by this? Do they believe that this is how their Instagram modeling career is going to begin? Yeah, that's right. It all started with this feeling cute challenge, and now I'm an Instagram model. Or one of those Twitter chicks talking about PayPal me for my premium Snapchat. Premium Snapchat. You know, I really wonder how successful that is. Maybe after prison show should have an exclusive premium Snapchat. Folks, there's a very good likelihood that you've never seen these prison guard feeling cute challenge photos, but I'm going to share them with you in this. I'm going to help spark that Instagram modeling career that they're potentially chasing after. Forget being a guard for the rest of my life. I'm trying to have a premium Snapchat. Oh, we're going to help boost their career for real because we're going to put them all the way out there because this needs to be seen. They have gone too far. Now, I also got one last thing to mention before we get into these photos. You know, I would have been none the wiser about this myself had it not been for an awesome supporter of After Prison Show who, who was able to infiltrate patient zero of this prison guard hashtag feeling cute challenge. The location of where these pictures were posted at isn't anywhere where you can just stumble upon them. You actually have to be a member of this super elite and secretive group on Facebook known as Correctional Officer Life. And you know, I've personally tried to join this group a number of different times, being denied every single time. Ain't no EOE in this. They certainly ain't no equal opportunity employer letting you be a part of this group. Because this is one of those particular Facebook groups that when you click to try to join it, they ask you some questions. And what they ask you is, are you a correctional officer? Where? Are you a correctional officer? So if you're not a part of this group or aren't able to become a part of this group, you're not going to be able to see these. But thank God for After Prison Show and the awesome supporters of this channel. Especially this one in particular who I'm going to choose to leave anonymous because they've been so kind as to share a boatload of these with us. So it is with all of that being mentioned that what do you say we go ahead and do? Whoa, my... Vuh! 
That was a little too extra. Head first into this video. Hurt my knee doing that. Boy, Joe, you getting old. You need some calcium in them bones. Folks, these are absolutely disgusting. And as I share these with you, I want you to ask yourself, what are they trying to do with it? What do they hope to accomplish? How many likes and comments are they truly chasing after? Is it dreams of a premium Snapchat the real reason why they're doing this? And also ask yourself, is this just a joke or are they doing this for real? Whatever answers you guys come up with to those questions, the absolute fact of the matter is, is these prison guards have gone too far and they need to be stopped. I can't stop them, but I'm damn sure gonna put them all the way out there. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and start with this guard right here. She looks like she's a real ball breaker up inside the prison. Feeling cute. Might toss your baby daddy's locker. 100. Like, is that supposed to be funny? Are you making a joke? out of taking advantage of people who are in a vulnerable situation. These people are locked up. They have done something to put themselves in a situation where they have to serve time for the crime they committed. And you don't seem to be doing these folks any type of favors. Maybe you're having a bad day. Maybe this is something that you really be doing. Ooh, look at this. I got 10 likes on this phone. I'm gonna do this for real. I'm about to go up and then toss everybody's locker. And if you don't think that's too bad, maybe you're right. You know, maybe maybe she is just joking. Maybe she's just doing this for the likes and the comments. Becoming a part of this challenge. Hashtag. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you ain't having no luck on Tinder. Maybe you should try to smile. You know, I actually read somewhere that if you smile in pictures that you post on social media, you know, you could gain at least two or three more likes on those photos. Let's go ahead and test that theory real quick. Uh, you know, if you, if you rock with this, Go ahead and drop a like on this video and, and, and forget about the dislike button, all right? Let's just act like that dislike button ain't even there. Can we try to get this video to, I don't know, 2,500 likes? Off of this smile right here. Cringe fest, forgive me. Let's go ahead and move on. Look at this nice looking young lady right here. Hashtag feeling cute challenge might lock up a few of your homeboys later. I don't know, I'm saying. Did they do something to get locked up? Have they committed some sort of an institutional infraction? Or are you just gonna lock them up for no damn good reason? Because you are caught up in this absolute debauchery. Is that a real word? This absolute madness of anything for the views, or at least for the likes in the comments. You need to work on the lighting in this picture. It's not a good idea to take a picture with the light source behind you. And you know, here's something else that we have to pay close attention to in each and every one of these photos. You may not be able to see it in all of them, but pay special attention to if you see on their collar, bars. I'm seeing bars right there. This chick ain't no regular guard. She's like a corporal or a sergeant or even a lieutenant. She's above them rookies and mediocre prison guards who ain't ever got no rank. You gotta wonder how she got that rank. Possibly by locking up a few of your homeboys later. Maybe they got a quota to meet. You know, maybe it's not all about the challenge. Maybe they just be locking people up because they got certain numbers they gotta hit. And she might be falling a little behind. You sneezed at me, you sneezed. You sneezed in my general vicinity and you didn't cover up your mouth. Cuff him up boys, he's going down. Feeling cute. Might take the hot pots and TV cords out of the dorm today. I don't know. Hashtag feeling cute challenge. Oh, now y'all starting to go too far. Y'all starting to go too far. First you want to lock people up. Now you want to take away what little privileges they got and for no good reason whatsoever. Just for some sort of challenge on Facebook. Yes, I'm mad. And you know, long before these challenges ever really wore a thing, Cody, thank you for that pros hack. Uh, long before these challenges ever wore a thing, this challenge, you know, this is the type of stuff that you will deal with when you're locked up. They will do things just because. Just because that's the way they feel. You know, I really didn't like the way Empire ended last night. I, mm, lockdown! Give me the hot pots and give me the TVs! I really wish I knew how many likes and comments they were getting on these posts. I can only imagine it's not very many. I hope you have better luck with a premium Snapchat or bringing in the pack. You gotta imagine maybe there's a couple of these guards who are posting in here who are super corrupt. You know, hey, thinking that you so smart? If I partake in the hashtag feeling cute challenge, <laughs> nobody's ever gonna imagine what I got taped to my stomach right now. Here's a real peach right here. Feeling cute 
might lock their asses down today. I don't know. All y'all ever talk about is locking down and taking things away. Y'all ain't trying to help people for real. I know you're mad. I'd be mad too if I was a prison guard. And I was already being looked at like I was scum of the earth. But damn, y'all ain't doing yourself no favors posting this. And let's be real here, y'all got a real sick sense of humor. This ain't funny. I'm sorry you ain't having no luck on Tinder. Maybe you ought to try Grinder. That probably wasn't too funny. Yo, you gotta work on these jokes. You got anything funnier written down? Yeah, I, I, I take notes. I do. I'm, I'm working toward my, my stand-up career. I watched that Kevin Hart stand-up special on Netflix and I was inspired in such a way that I could do better. Give me an opportunity. Give me a microphone and a, and a bar stool and an audience and that Netflix money. I wonder how much they get paid for that. Probably a lot. Folks, this next one's gonna be a little hard to stomach and what I mean by that is BUNG! Look at that, oh boy, look at that forehead though. Boy, your head is shaped like Mr. Potato Head. You got that Potato Head dome. I know why you mad. I know why you being a part of this. You are desperate. You are super thirsty for some likes. If you could buy likes on Facebook, this chick would most certainly be doing so. And guess what? I see bars on that collar right there. We know we ain't looking at no regular guard right here. This is Officer Ball Breaker all day. Feeling cute. Might put your baby daddy in the shower for six hours since we ain't got no beds in SEG. What is that, a rap? What you think you the next Nicki Minaj? What you the Cardi B? You look like Big Pun. Ooh, boy, I smoked him. Boy, Cody, get the smoker out. I got a whole pork butt I'm trying to put in there. This next one really strikes a chord with me, personally, because I've, I've dealt with this many times throughout the time that I was locked up. Uh, but let's look at this clown of a guard right here saying, feeling cute might give your man a notification of disapproved mail with a bunch of little laughy faces. Ain't nothing about that funny, man. Ain't nothing about that funny. I can guarantee that you that guard that everybody making fun of as soon as you walk into the housing unit. Officer Dookie Face coming up in here. Look at him. He got that bit of beer Dookie Face all over his face. I know why you a guard. You ain't never had no friends when you was in school. They used to stuff you up inside of a locker. Where the hell is my mail at anyway? Oh, Doug from Nickelodeon looking at. Oh, Rocco's Modern Life looking. Oh, you looking like that red-headed rug rat. And folks, we're going to start getting into some that are just downright really messed up. This next one, this one's just absolutely as wrong as it gets. Not as wrong as it gets, but it's definitely a top contender for the worst of this feeling cute challenge with this chick right here. Feeling cute may find drugs on your baby mama that isn't hers later, but I don't know yet. I mean, you're laughing and joking about locking up an innocent person. You ain't no cop. You are a guard. You are a glorified mall security officer. Yo, Paul Blart looking, Jody Arias psycho serial killer looking. You'd probably be looking at all the Peters up in there knowing damn well you ain't got no personal life. I bet you all the other prison guards know you really well up in there. I'm talking really well. Re really oh, well. you that one female guard. Yeah, I heard about you. All them other guards be talking about you. I mean, basically what this chick is admitting to right now is conspiracy to something, premeditated something. I don't even know what you would, premeditated lying. And why would you do that? Cause you're mad at the prisoner? This is the retaliation? Oh, he told me, uh, he told me I, I smell like a fish packing house. I got something for him. I ain't gonna do it to him though. I'm just gonna ruin the lives of his family. Here's another priceless one right here. Feeling cute might tell your boo who's really your boo with a little winky face. Hashtag feeling cute challenge. Oh, now you making fun of people for what kind of orientation they are in this world. That's, you can't do that, that's 2019. You can't be doing that. And you know, who knows, maybe you jealous. You know, I've heard, it's probably a prison myth, I don't know how true it is, it's probably very true. But you know, I've heard that certain guards become guards because of their deepest fascination, to say it as mildly as I possibly can, with people who are incarcerated. They like seeing people in chains. Talking about a whole different level of Fifty Shades of Grey type stuff right here. Are you mad? What you hating for? You know, me, me and this thing, me and this person right here, we almost got a very similar hairstyle. Got me ready to bold my head. Get the razor out. Hashtag feeling cute might just tase your girlfriend later. It's an electrifying experience. I told you, these people are sadistic. They probably devil worshippers at that. Y'all need to find Jesus. Talking about tasing girlfriends just because it's an electrifying experience? You got me spitting like this is, this is sick. The lisp is on 1000. Trying to somehow comprehend 
What you think is funny? God, I wish I knew how many likes this had. And you're cross-eyed at that. Look at them eyes. No, you got made fun of your entire life. Somebody say something wrong about them eyes pointing in two different directions, they going down. Three-point taser all up in they back. Look like you get off on pain. You're, you're borderline serial killer is what you're looking like right here. A borderline dateline special. Here's another serial killer in the making straight psychopath. Look at this chick talking about feeling cute. Might just stack team your baby daddy today. I don't know. What you talking about? You gonna call the goon squads on somebody for no good reason? And again, folks, you really gotta ask yourself, are these people joking? Or are they serious? Or maybe it just starts out as a joke. Why did you do it? Well, it all began with that hashtag feeling cute challenge that we had no business as prison guards even partaking in. We are already portrayed and subjectified in such a way that we are horrible people. We most certainly didn't do ourselves any favors indulging. It started with the challenge, but then it got one too many likes. And I just felt like I had to do it. It got 12 likes. I've never had a photo get that many likes. So I sent the goon squad in on them. I don't find any of these funny at all. This guard right here says, I need my me time. Feeling cute. I'm still gonna lock you down. This guy's got zero personality. You can tell just by the way that he, just by the way that he captioned this. You need your me time? You are getting paid and paid pretty decently, as a matter of fact, to work 12 hour shifts. So, you know, when you're on the clock, ain't no such thing as no me time. You get your me time once you clock out. You gonna lock down the housing unit just cause you want you some me time? What does me time even mean? A chance for you to reflect on how many times you failed about in the police academy? You ain't cut out to be a cop. That's why you a guard. Ain't no me time. You get that when you clock out. You're getting triggered here. I am getting super triggered. I gotta include this one right here, folks. And this is something that I've talked about many times in the past. Look at this guy right here with his monster energy drink looking dumber than a bitch in the face. Hashtag felt cute challenge. You didn't even get it right. It's not the felt cute challenge. It is the feeling cute challenge. Get it right. Working towards lieutenant, but also may put one on property restriction privilege suspension while I'm at it. What this guy proves, forget the caption. Actually, we need the caption. But let's go ahead and look at his photo. We don't see any bars on his collar at all, do we? No, folks. What I feel like we are truly looking at right here is somebody fresh out of the prison guard training academy. I think you only got to watch like a 20 minute video, count the three, and be able to distinguish the difference between a red and a blue crayon. And then you a guard. We are looking at a bona fide rookie right here. And what he's saying, it goes far beyond this dumb caption with, with the hashtag completely wrong. Felt cute challenge. You probably don't even got no friends on PlayStation. Boy, you a super loser. What we are looking at right here is a rookie who is willing to do anything to get that dollar raise and get some bars on his call. Working towards lieutenant. Dude, you literally just started six hours ago. You're not even through your first full shift yet. You've pissed yourself three times. We are gonna actually, after prison show, we're gonna send this guy some diapers. They've got all sorts of diapers in the P.O. box not long ago. We about to send all of them to this guy. That Monster Energy drink probably got you peeing on yourself a little. Oh God, look at me. Who was that character from Mad TV? Look at what I can do. Folks, this final one that I'm gonna include in this video is the worst of the worst. There's actually a news story about this particular one. I'm gonna share that with you guys in a minute, but look at this dude right here. This looks like deputy do right all day long. Straight by the rules, straight by the books, no curving, no detours, no shortcuts. This guy is on the straight and narrow. You ain't getting nothing past this dude. He's searching every time he comes in there. The only good thing about this type of a guard right here is that he ain't gonna change up. He ain't gonna act like he's your friend. This is RoboCop all day long. And absolutely the worst of the worst of this feeling cute challenge. Hashtag, I might gas the whole wing later. Actually, he wrote this completely wrong. Hashtag feeling cute. My gas the whole wing later. I told you to be a prison guard, it doesn't take much at all. My gas the whole wing later might. M-I-G-H-T. I got my GED in prison. Looks to me like you never got one. This guy is basically trying to make a joke out of a torture method. You know, if you spray that pepper spray inside of a housing unit, mm, it is hard to breathe. I have been in housing units where that pepper spray gets sprayed, that tear gas gets sprayed, and it's scary. You cannot breathe at all. And I mean, look at this guy's face. There ain't no smile at all. That mustache, though, boy, you almost got that cop mustache going on. 
Ain't there yet. I'm gonna have to keep working on that. But this ain't nothing to joke about what this guy said in this. Uh, this is this is messed up. And again, like I said, there's a story about this. Hashtag feeling cute, my gas the whole wing later. Inmate families began emailing the department officials Monday with names and screenshots of the post demanding immediate action. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice is aware of the so-called feeling cute challenge currently on social media and said Tuesday morning a handful of correctional officers employed by this agency are under investigation for on and off duty conduct violations as a result of alleged posting of inappropriate appropriate photographs on social media. It's not clear how many employees are being investigated and it's also not clear what the hell they're gonna do about this. You guys think they're gonna lose their jobs behind this? I think they damn sure should. I would love to walk up into a 7-Eleven one day, I can only dream, I can only dream that one day I walk up into a 7-Eleven and I see one of these folks working behind the counter asking me if I am a part of 7-Eleven's rewards program. <laughs> I know you, man! I know you! <laughs> yeah! Justice! I guess premium Snapchat didn't work out too well for you, huh? Hey, look! That's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video some way. We did the best that we could to take justice into our own hand and help probably also promote these premium Snapchat careers potentially blossoming and also in the making. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. And even if you didn't like this, put it down there. Vent. I'd love to hear from you guys. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!